Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Bright Eyes. So right now, I'm gonna show you how I thread the Juki machine, okay? So the easiest, simplest way to thread, to re-thread your machine, because this is already threaded, is to cut it. And I'm gonna take this white thread and this black thread, and I'm gonna tie it in a knot. Sometimes I do this to home sewing um, machines. I also do this to my sergers. If I feel like I don't want to be threaded, I tie it in a knot before it reaches the needle. Okay, so this is what you do. Okay. You tie it in the knot and you take your needle. dry this finish okay I'm gonna have to cut this part here because it got tied up in the knot when I was doing the bobbin okay so you you still could do that it doesn't even though you cut it shorter okay so I'm gonna show y'all so I'm just gonna pull my thread it doesn't matter if you want top and bottom it's all your preference you know, or I guess the second hole could be for the other thread. All right, so as you can see here, I want to share some light on it so y'all can see what's going on. Okay, so let's see, the, the lighting could be a lot better. Okay, I'm just that's the best I could do for lighting. So I'm going to show y'all, you just move. And you see this part here, this is when I'm doing the swirl, I like to put it, let's say it wasn't threaded and you had to do it from scratch, I like to put it in a circular swirl motion. I like to do this. You place this in and then in like this, you know, in the holes. Yeah, I also want to show you a close up of what it will look like once she pass it through the the hole. Okay, like that. Now you could also do. You don't have to do it in a swirl like I did. You could just put it in, up, and down, and it will work the same way. But I always like it curled up like this. Okay, and you do this. I'll show you nothing's gonna happen. You just pull it through and it's still gonna work. Okay, so you just thread it, make sure it's in the disc, make sure it's like this, and then you're gonna put it through the hole. Okay, I just wanna add this quick part of the video because when you thread the machine, make sure after I pull all the thread through the hole, Make sure you put it inside this hole right here. You pull it from right to left in this hole. And then you you bring the thread down and you put it to the hook. So I'm gonna cut it. If this wasn't messed up, I cut it just keep going and you just keep going to release the needle. But I gotta cut it because it didn't reach the needle. So, and then you do the rest, and you save yourself time when you do it that way. Okay. So I'm just gonna put it through the hole here, and then you put it through here, and 
make sure y'all can see that. Okay, and this little hook, I'm gonna put it through here. And I wanna wind it. And if it, and when you wind in the Juki mach machine right here, and you turn in the, the, the wheel on the side, which is here, it could be hard. So the easiest way to turn this wheel right here when you adjust in the needle is just gently put your foot on the pedal right here. It makes turning the needle very easy cause, and you don't want to put too much but it's just going to go because it's, it's a fast sewing machine. So after I put it through this hook, I'm going to also put it through this hole right here. Right here. I'm going to put it through this hole. Oh, it got into the knot when I put it in there. So I'm going to have just put simple, just put it in the hole. Are you gonna thread it from left to right? Okay, from left. To right. And there you have it, and you're ready to go. And we could also test it. Oh yeah, I forgot. Then you want to, before, okay, it's already threaded. Then you take your foot, you gently press on the pedal to get the, the bottom of thread. And gently, and be able to turn the wheel. You want to walk it and to get the bottom of thread out. Okay. It got into a big knot there. It only because I was using the um I would wind the the thing. This happened because the bobbin case was left in there. So and that's why you see all this thread coming out. So in the future, don't leave your bobbin case inside when you're trying to wind your bobbin, alright? you don't want a whole bunch of thread to come out so okay it's stuck it could be because when I was winding the bobbin I left the bobbin case so I'm going to take my bobbin out to make sure it's okay it's okay and I'm going to check inside to make sure there's no thread caught in there okay it's fine night in there okay and I'm gonna try again put it back inside okay got it out Okay, it's, it's doing fine. It's because, like I said, I left the bobbin case in there when I was winding the bobbin. And don't do that. But then you're going to get a bigger ball of thread. And I'm going to place the pressure foot down. I'm going to place the needle down. And we are going to see this thing so.
set my pressure foot. Put a little pressure on the pressure foot to get the thread out and the needle. And look how beautiful this so Isn't that nice? Now let's check the back. Beautiful, right? Alright, so there you go. That's how you dread your dupey machine.